All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeem, here to give you a scout report on Trey Hendrickson, the defensive end coming out of Florida Atlantic. Now, this kid is a good sleeper of a pass rusher entering this year's draft. Now, over the course of the last two seasons for the Owls, he actually garnered All-Conference USA honors in which he registered 30 tackles for loss and 23 sacks over these last two seasons. I think this is going to be a decent sleeper in this year's draft. Now, let's talk about his strengths and weaknesses. First, his strengths, he does have a pretty good, good burst coming off of the line of scrimmage and great speed. He runs a 4 6 5 40, which is the ideal speed that you want your defensive end to at least have, which is a great trait about him. Now, other things that I do like about him is that he has a couple of good skills and good move maneuvers to get away from opposing pass blockers to get to the quarterback and get behind the line of scrimmage. I like the fact that he has a good grab and rip grab and rip away on move that he has as well as a smooth swim move that I do like a lot. Now one move that he does need to work on is his spin because he can get clumsy with his footwork and using the spin. If he just grips that up a little bit more I think he'd be more effective and have three great moves to use against opposing defenses in which he could switch things up and confuse opposing um, offensive linemen. That's a couple of things that I do like about him. Now I also like the fact that he has long arms which is helps out with his length he's six foot four 269 pounds which is a pretty good size that you want your defensive end to have and the fact that he has long arms he could possibly even give you some bad um uh, pass breakups as far as batting the football away if the ball is thrown on um, too low by um opposing quarterbacks now he does have a couple of weaknesses though he's not too much so as a um run stopper he only actually registered 39 tackles for the uh, past couple of seasons and i think that he he's going to be used more as a premier pass rusher and deep and, and different um um, blitzes and different rush um, pass rushing defensive schemes against opposing offenses and not really used as a uh, every down defensive end at the next level. So that's why he could possibly be selected in the mid rounds. But because of his pass um, rushing skills, I do like the fact that he does have those skills so he could possibly be um, slept, um, uh, picked a little bit earlier than expected. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing, and obviously, a lot of people are concerned by the mere fact that he did play in a weaker conference in Conference USA, and he had an okay show um, showcase in the East-West Shrine game. I did see him play a little bit, and it wasn't really impressive, but it wasn't. It didn't suck at the same time, so it's just, just in a neutral area. He didn't really impress me too much, but that's a little bit of a concern. But I do see the skill set that this kid have, and that has. Now, I would have to say that I actually have to project him in the fifth round of this year's draft, but I won't be surprised if he was selected in the fourth round, but I see him as a mid-rounder selection in the fifth round. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have a couple more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.